Well, it has finally happened. What I so well and precisely predicted has happened. The Denver Nuggets have beat the Miami Heat in five games in the 2022-2023 NBA Finals. Let's give it up to the very best team this season. Undoubtedly, in and out, they finished the job and they had the best player in very many's opinion. To me, it's still Giannis, but Jokic, you making it hard for me to keep that belief. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. It don't matter what you do. It don't matter what you do. You not phasing Jokic. Jokic doesn't care enough to think about what you think or what you saying or what you doing. Unless you put your hands on him, unless you getting physical with Jokic, I'm pretty sure that's the only time I ever seen Jokic actually sit there and get out of character. Other than that, man, Jokic is a stud. He is stud, bro. I've become a fan of Nikola Jokic because I like how he carries himself. I do. And he's a fantastic player, superb. I don't know if I said this on video before, but I was going to say he's a seven foot Luca, but Luca's just a six foot seven version of him because Jokic came first. I want everybody to remember that. Jokic's been here and did that, paving the way for these young Europeans. But um, let's just look at the stats for this game. I knew it was over, bro. They in Denver. They just, they just had won their first ring after 46 years, which is the longest time it took a team to get a ring so far, I think, out of the ones who won a ring and didn't have one before. Cavs were second at 45, I think, and then Nuggets at 46. It's, it's really commendable, bro. But I'm just, bro, like, I'm just watching the game, right? And I'm thinking to myself, it's all these people in the crowd, all the people probably talking on social media, got something to say about Jokic and the Nuggets. There is no such thing as a Nuggets fan. I promise you, if you don't live in Denver, Colorado, even in Denver, Colorado, Jokic really said them crowds would be empty. Empty. So like I said, there is no such thing as a Nuggets fan. A in and out, through and through, you like the Nuggets no matter what. No such thing. And if you became a fan, as soon as Jokic won that first MVP, hey, look, okay, that's cool. You're not a real fan, like, you're not really, like, you're a, you a new supporter. It's like all those guys who started liking the Warriors when Steph Curry won his first MVP and had that 2016 season look. Like, I, I mean, hey, who's not a fan of good basketball? But all of a sudden, that's your favorite team, brother. You're not a true fan. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. So it's just everybody, oh, I've been on Yogi's, you know what I'm saying? I've been on the Nuggets. Boy, you ain't even know what color these Nuggets wore before they had these jerseys. What color did the Nuggets wear before they had these jerseys? Exactly. Y'all probably ain't watched the Nuggets since Carmelo Anthony, Allen Iverson. Y'all probably didn't even know Danilo Gallinari was the best player on their team like 10 years ago. Like, come on, bro. He's not even in the league no more. And I only know that because of one of my cousins, bro. Like, bro, like, y'all don't even. So don't, don't pretend like you like the Nuggets. Because I promise you, y'all Nuggets fans don't exist. You don't. But that's all I got to say. Look, congratulations to Jokic. He won the finals MVP. Well deserved. Nobody else deserved it at all. I don't care. I, I, I honestly, even if, even if the Heat would have came back, I could, I could honestly think I say I think Jokic still deserved it. Just how LeBron deserved it when the Heat won, when the Warriors won, Jokic would have deserved it no matter what. Would he have won it? No, but he would have deserved it no matter what. That man is truly like unbothered by anything that happens. He's, you know what I'm saying, a true stoic. That man is solid. But let me look at the stats. And it's so crazy, bro. Like, first, I need to talk about the fact Jimmy Butler couldn't find a... He was two for 13 up until the last five minutes of the game. Jimmy Butler, you sucked. You sucked. You pulled a Jason Tatum. I put you on a level above him 
and I said, you pull it through when it matters most. You hit nine free throws, like I said, you gonna get to that line. I don't know, you just get to that line. And I respect that. That's your game, and you did it. You did what you do, but you weren't in the mid-range shots. You played some good defense, you got some good steals, you did. But you weren't hitting your shots. Bam out of Bayou, nine for 20. I told you, bam. Bam. Stop taking all those shots. As a center, you do, as a center who don't shoot threes, there is no excuse for you to ever be below 60% from the field. I'm gonna keep repeating that. Kyle Lowry, look, all your shots are threes, four for nine, that's not bad, but four for 13, that's abysmal. <sighs> Max Strews, five for 12, that's bad. Gabe Vincent, three for 13, that's bad. Caleb Martin, four for nine, I mean, that's okay, but over four, that's bad. Like, beginning of the game, right? Nuggets kept getting all these turnovers. Six from Murray, four from Jokic. Everybody else ain't had that many. But yeah, they were just, they couldn't keep the ball. Not hitting shots. Bruce Brown, four for 14, 28.6 from the field. Bruce Brown, why are you shooting 14 shots? Why are you shooting two less shots than Nikola Jokic, the best player in the NBA? Why are you shooting one less shot than Jamal Murray supposed to be your best score your go-to score like I said bro Christian Brown you know what I'm saying keep doing your thing you're gonna be big one day Jamal Murray you didn't hit your shots but you know what you got some rebounds and assists well I haven't six turnovers so I don't know how big of an impact that was but hey today was all on Jokic bro missed four shots 16 rebounds didn't he have to pass the ball like that Michael Porter Jr. started hitting some shots eventually. 7 for 17 is a night. Bro, like, oh, bro, like, this is not the way to go out. Y'all had to lead Miami. Y'all had it in your back pocket. Could at least brought it back to Miami for game six. Although it would have hurt a lot more to see them give out that, that trophy on your home court. And you can't leave there. You got to stay. That's your court. <sighs> like I said, congratulations to the, to the legend all-time great future Hall of Famer Nikola Jokic. Jamal Murray, you showed me a lot. You did. You better than I thought you were. I, But I really am starting to understand you just like to hoop when it matters most. Maybe not today, but it happens to the best of us. Same with you, Jimmy. Like I don't think you know worse, but I think you just had a bad night. But get that together. They gonna get you some help. Dang. Miami needs you down to you maybe even uh what's bro bro over there in toronto who just didn't sign his extension look like drake y'all know what i'm talking about i can't remember his name right now but yeah look congratulations bro that was a well-deserved win nuggets of the 2023 nba champions who like who honestly saw this coming bro if you did congratulations to you you made a, a prediction that many probably didn't make but you was right good job hope y'all enjoyed the video make sure you like Comment, subscribe, and see what you get down below. It's your boy Jahi. I hope you enjoyed this video. NBA season is done. NBA content directly about the season is obviously going to slow down because the season is done, but there's going to be draft videos, trade, offseason, moves, signings, things like that, videos. Anything y'all want to see, comment it down below and I will give you what you want. It's your boy Jahi, and I'm out. Hey, hey, I know y'all see this, man. So go ahead, like, press that subscribe button, press that notification bell, and make sure you come back for another video.